Hello, it's Spelled RPG. It's Tuesday. It's my day. It's Sam. The lighting is weird. And I've still yet to find a place where my face fits in the frame. My house is very oddly leveled. Yeah. Um, I don't really think there's a theme this week. I hope there's not. Um, if there is, I'm gonna look like an idiot. But since I recently went to a Carrie Ryan signing, I thought a while ago, Sierra did a video showing off her Michael Grant sign books to the um, the YouTube internet people. What was that? I don't, know. I don't know. So I thought I'd do that too. Um, I don't have a lot. In fact, I only have four books that are signed. Um, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So the first one is The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. And um, I went to see her on April 1st. And she was pretty freaking awesome. That uh, says for Sam, follow your own path, love Carrie Ryan. And I was informed that my name is the last name of one of her cats. So, yeah. I also got this sticker. Let's just eat, pray, love, like, pray, like. Predator. Rawr. Yes, I put the sticker on the book. Because the other sticker ended up on this. And I know that this notebook will one day end up in the trash. So. Yeah. And then I have The Stranger Next Door by Pig Carrot. Which is probably a f third grade level book. But it's my favorite level, or it's my favorite level. It's my favorite book when I was in the first grade. Um, and I bought it when I first read it. I thought it was amazing, and I thought it was mandatory read for everyone. Everyone should read it. Um, and then I found it again because over time I lost it. And I bought it, and I read it again, and it's not as spectacular as I thought it was. But, I found it, it's signed by Pig Carrot and Pete the Gap. And I've had this book for a couple years, and I never noticed that it was signed. So, I don't know. Um, then I have The Hunger Games by Susan Collins, and it's not, it wasn't signed. Um, the book isn't signed, but I have a book plate that I won at a Mockingjay release kind of party thing. It's pretty freaking awesome. So it stays in there and I like don't let anyone touch my my Hunger Games book because it's like precious to me. And then the last one that I have is she's not really known for being an author but it's Kat Von D, The Tattoo Chronicles. Signed by Kat Von D and Rooftop or Mike Amaskella, I think is how you say his last name. And um, I stood in line for a good seven hours. Um, I was in the first 400 people that were there. I got up at the book crack of dawn to actually get the bracelet so that I could go to the signing. And then, I was probably number 430 or something in line, and I stood in line with a girl that was on like six shots of straight coffee, and um, she should never ever drink coffee ever in her life, ever, ever, ever. Ah. Eh. And um, she was very ecstatic about meeting Jeffree Star, which is this guy right here, and he's a singer, because he was there too, but he left like probably 30 people before we got to meet him, but we snuck, we snuck some pictures of him that probably could have got us kicked out, so by the way that we were getting pictures. So, yeah, but this book has earned me bragging rights from, from a lot of people, whether it be the fact that it was signed by Kat Von D, or the fact that it was signed by Rooftop, or the fact that um, I have pictures of Jeffree Star. So, yeah. And I recently 
um, one a signed Goliath book. And I'm really excited about that. Super duper excited. My scar was filled, obviously. Anyways, I'm tired. Um, the lighting's weird. I'm gonna go read Peeps. See you tomorrow, Alec. Camera, turn off.